Zwei von Neusen. Zusammen im Ecke, zwei von Neusen. Komm mal, lift your hands, let's worship. Say, Lord, I stand in awe of you. Say, I stand in awe of you. Say, I stand in awe of you. I stand, I stand in awe of you. I stand, I stand in awe of you. Holy God, to whom all praise is due. I stand in awe of you. Let's do it together. Come on, come on. church. I stand, I stand in awe of you. Yes, Lord. I stand, I stand in awe of you. Holy God, to whom all praise is due, I stand in awe. Say, I stand, I stand, oh, in awe of you. Visitor, thank you, thank you.
You, you seem to love Mr. TV Joshua than Prophet TV Joshua. Don't forget you are here to meet Prophet TV Joshua. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. I was rejoicing with you. I know many of us have have a lot of dream vision before coming here today. So that is the reason of your dancing and rejoicing to confirm your dreaming. I mean, if I'm talking. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Viewers, we salute your faith, your time. Thank you for your patience. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So where are we going from here? We need to ask the Holy Spirit. We ask the Holy Spirit, where are we going from here? I can hear you. <laughs> After you have finished dancing, dancing, what else again? Shall we go for a break? They are as Holy Spirit. Where are we going from here? Because without Him, we go nowhere. I say without Him. Ask Him, ask Him, ask Him. If not, we continue to dancing and dancing and continue our dance. Where are we going from here? Hallelujah. Have you received answer to your question? Huh? Okay, where are you going? Hallelujah. So we want to continue our message. I see have a little challenge in carrying you. You are so difficult to carry. You know, last week I was telling you that I will carry you by force. You are very difficult to carry by force. In fact, it's God that saved me. You will have carried me. <laughs> you know, I said, I will carry you. I will carry you to that, to, to the Spirit of God. You cannot continue worship without the Spirit of God. Whom are you worship? Worship without the Spirit of God. Whom are you worship? Worship the gods you do not know. So, and I say last week, I say, I must carry you, force you. Ah, in the spirit, you are so difficult to, to be forced, to be carried. If not God, you will have carried me. So we have to go back again. Like a student in the school, when teacher realized that uh, what you are teaching is not well, comprehend. So teacher will look back again and say whether to go back to, to former subjects and uh, put more light. So it may carry over. <laughs> it may carry over. So we, God has given us one, two, three, A, B, C, but it's like a some people, they don't understand what I'm talking about. So let's go back to B. We were in D, but go back to B. B. Is, can we call you a good student? Very brilliant student. Hallelujah. So today we shall talk about uh, which is going to take us back. Building God's Karata. Hallelujah. Amen. Building God's character. Because of fear everywhere. There's so much fear. And uh, it is not even situation that key now. It is fear of dissertation. 
Look at everywhere, even the politics today. Fear. Some abandoned, some decided not to be a political party again, to be a politician because of fear. So people just don't know what to do. The business of fear. Everything, fear, 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 fear. Fear of loss, fear of failure, fear of sickness disease, fear of false accusation, fear of today politics, even fear of yourself, you are afraid of yourself. If I'm talking to you, you are afraid of yourself. Some people, when they want to sleep, they will call their family, their children, say, come, come, come. This is where I put the money. This is where the bank account. I have some money with these people. But he's afraid he may not wake up. <laughs> because of what you are seeing all over the world, every, even within friends, within friends, story a lot, a lot. So this fear. So let's talk about building God's character. And uh, this will take us to some tests in the Bible. And uh, we take first test from the book of John 16. We take our reading from verse 1 to the end. But the actually proof test there is verse 33. And uh, when we leave the book of John 16, we will have the grace also to look at the book of Isaiah 43. And then when you take it, you're reading from verse 1 to the end. That will give you a picture of what you are talking about. And also the book of Psalm. The book of Psalm is also will, will help in that verse you can take your reading from verse 4 to 7. And uh, also the book of uh, Philip, chapter 4, you take your reading from verse 6 to 7. That will do. In, in all, the book of Joshua, verse 1, chapter 1, verse 8, that Joshua. So I will want to read that book of uh, John. And then when you get home, you have those other books to read. Hallelujah. John 16. Of all this, I have told you so that you will not you will not fall away. They will put you out of the synagogue. In fact, the, in fact, the time is coming when anyone who kills you will think they are offering a service to God. That is the right to kill you. Are you there? They will do such things because they have not known the Father or me. I have told you this so that when their time comes, you will remember that I warn you about them. I did not tell you this from the beginning because I was with you, because he was with us. He did not. So let's go to the verse, uh, the towards end, 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have tribulation, but take heart. 
That is, some books say, cheer up. I have what? Overcome the world. That will just give us the basis of what we are about to talk about. Hallelujah. Don't forget that book of Isaiah, too. The book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah 43, from verse, from beginning to the end. That will really help you. Hallelujah. Jesus wants to be involved in our life as mothers. Take note of that. That is why he's given all this warning and all what you are reading about. He wants to be involved in our life as mothers. You know mothers compared to father. Oh my God. You know there will be time fear will overwhelm us. There will be time. This is why he said, I pray your faith will not fail. Are you there? He knows there will be times fear <laughs> will overwhelm us. That's why he said to his disciple, I pray your faith means something is coming. You begin to say, ah, ah, will I be a Christian? Or oh, will I pray? Oh, this is what we are seeing now. All over. Mm. Are you are you not seeing them now? It's prophecy. It's coming to reality. You are free. You are free. Fear of loss. Like I have said, fear of failures, fear of false accusation, fear of, 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 of sickness, disease, infirmity. Fear of today's business and today's politics. Fear, 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 fear. Because of that, your focus has changed. Fear changes focus. Uh, businessman today has now become a pastor. I turned to it change. It changes focus. Fear is a more deceptive enemy than Satan himself. More what? More what? Than Satan himself. Situation doesn't kill, but fear kill. Sickness doesn't kill, but fear kill. Before that sickness, hey, just a medical report that hey, you know, Prepare your way. Prepare your way. Already you are died. You are died. Fear is a more deceptive enemy than Satan. Look at many people. They hold on to themselves. Fear stop us from admit our gates. No. If I say this, what will happen to me? What will happen to me? No. Stop us from admitting our gifts. Look at our Lord Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is the one that sustained him in the Garden of Destiny when he prayed concerning the cup of offering. 
Holy Spirit sustaining him. Let this cup pass over. No. Let the, will of, let the will of God be done. Oh, let this cup pass over. Mm. The Holy Spirit said to him, don't forget the reason why you are sent. You are not sent to do your will, but the will of Father in heaven. Oh, let the will of God be done. It was Holy Spirit that sustained him. Fear, 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 fear. Even you are afraid of yourself. Fear of your children, fear of yourself, fear of your husband, fear of your wife. You see suicide today, people commit suicide because of fear. The rate of suicide is crazy. That's why we have to build God's character. The funny thing is that not even our natural gifts, talent, education cannot help us to overcome fear. But can only develop and refine us as natural man to the highest point, highest possible point. That is what education and talent can do to the highest possible point, but cannot sustain you, cannot help you to overcome fear of sickness, fear of this, fear of that. You see many people commit suicide today. You are even afraid now. If TB Dutra will touch you, or if you will be here, if you will be blessed, you are free. Even some are hiding at the back. Each time the camera is coming, they touch because of their boss. They don't want their boss to see them, or the Pharisees are to see somewhere to see them. They are free. Let someone say fear. Some are here today, not because of Jesus, but because of their boss, their mentor, their, their, their girlfriend, their boyfriend. That is the reason why they're here. Not that they have faith. Fear. 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 Our concern now is to build God's character. If you want to become God's person, Christian, born again, you must follow his process. His character, God's character, God's word, reflect his character. To build God's character, to become God's person, to become Christian, to become born again, we must follow his process. This is what we want to talk about today, his process. Let someone say his process. I can hear you. You, you understand that? If, if you want to make a soup at home, everybody today, you know, like a woman, like woman has taken over jeans. We also have taken over the soup kitchen. So, I mean, they are the one putting on jeans now. Before you know it, the jeans in the market, trust her, you see them putting on. They are taking over from us. In fact, we too, we are ready to wear skirts. They should prepare it. The, 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 the fashion designer get us skirts. So if, if they have taken over this, the trouser and jeans, everywhere, jeans, trouser, everywhere, jeans, trouser, this woman, we are protest. 
So let us also start wearing a skirt. So that they will know we are protesting. It's processing, I mean, it's like making soup. Now I, I'm planning to, to, that is for my holiday, I'm going to, to, to study how to cook as another profession. So that, continue laughing. Next, maybe next year, you will see me cooking, giving you food. Because I like food. Because I like food. <laughs> but I will not tell you the kind of soup I like. Because if I tell you now, you may start cooking food and, 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 and they share the soup for me. I will not tell you. You know, this processing is like making soup. You put things together, put it together, put it together. If one is missed, you miss it all. That is why some pepper soup, when you, you, know, you are tasting some pepper soup, you say, ah, what is, what is this? Because something is missing. Why some? You forgetting the food, you start it, drinking pepper soup. Because it's sweet. It's processing. What are his processing? What are God's processing? Apart from the Bible text given to you, when you look at the book of John 3, verse 5, if you are not born of the Spirit, you are not born again. If you are not born of the Spirit, you are not a Christian. If you are not born of the Spirit, you are not a believer. Because God is Spirit, and His worshiper must worship Him in Spirit and world. Simple. Simple. You must follow him in spirit. You must talk to him in spirit. You must let you with him in spirit. If you are not born, in, born of spirit, that is John's telling verse 5, you are not. And the book of Romans 8 verse 9 to 10 said, if you don't have the spirit of God, you are not belong to him. Processing. You are not belong to him. How do we belong to him? God's word reflect his character. Since God's word reflects his character, where, where God speaks, pa speaks. When God's walk, power walk. When God wave, power wave. When God greet, power greet. When God talk, power talk. Since God's power working through his word and his spirit. Tell your neighbor, God's power working through his word and his spirit. This is how he works. And no, God's power, God's talk, power talk. When you say God, you say power. Say God. God, God, that is God for you. When God's power working, God's power working through his word and his spirit, it's like a tap. 
you want to you want water somewhere, you just have to turn the tap and the water will come through the tap. Through what? Through what? Through what? Walk through his way and his spirit to talk to you. He walked through his work to talk to you. He walked through his work and his spirit to hear you. He walked through his work by and his spirit to bless you. He walked through his work by and his spirit to, to save you. So in that, we must meditate on what we read in the Bible and turn it over and over and over again in our hearts. The more we meditate, the more our heart acts upon the words. Act upon the word. To, you know, to turn it over and over and over again in our hearts. Not just meditation, it's like pounding yarn. But, 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 you pound it, pound it, pound it. You want to make it part of you. You want, you want to make it part of you. But, 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 in the process, pound it, turn it over and over again in your heart. You, in order to do what the word says, not just here because you, are, you want to live by it, not, not just, but not just to hear and, and preach it or teach it, but live by it. Turn it over. That is where meditation comes in. The Bible said they will become part of all by meditation. Let someone say that. I can hear you. 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 It becomes part of us by meditation. Meditation, turn it over and over and over again in our heart. What is going on in your house? Without, without, without this meditation, our conduct and our character cannot be influenced by the word of God. The more we meditate, the more our heart act upon the world. And the more it influences the world, influences our conduct and our character. The more the world influences our conduct and our character. Like you are listening to me, Hearing me, keep your heart in order. If you don't get hold of your heart, your heart will be doing what it likes. You must have control of your heart. While you are looking to me, looking at me, continue that meditation. 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 For me, I meditate on the word day and night. And whatever I do, prosper. For me, I meditate 
on the way, day and night. And whatever I do, prosper. The was, I know you are, thank you for your time. Meditate on the word of God, day and night. No matter how unsteady your life appears to be. you will prosper day by day. No matter how unsteady your life appear to be, meditate on the word day and night, and whatever you do will prosper. Yeah. Unsteady, I know life is your business, your, your life, your career, your marriage. You see, when something is like this, you cannot enjoy it. If my life, if I continue working like this, I cannot enjoy myself. So this is how business, some, many business today, if not all business, your marriage. No matter how unsteady, viewers, no matter how unsteady your life, your career, your business appear to be, meditate on the word of God day and night, and whatever you do will prosper. Are you meditating now? Are you? No, you are looking at my suit. I see you, do, you have not seen suit before. You are looking at my suit. You are looking at my suit. You are very difficult. You are a difficult woman being. Looking at my shoe. Looking at my suit. Look at whether he suit me. Is that what we are here for? This is what your heart is busy doing. Look at this man. Look at him. Look at him. Oh my God. Tell your neighbor, no matter how unsteady, no matter how unsteady your life appear to be, appear to be. Meditate, on meditate on the word day and night. Day and night. Whatever you do, First class. Yeah. Just instead of continue wasting your time, time of prayer, time of prayer, the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, do it for me, do it for me, bread do this, do this, do this, time. In the name of Jesus, continue fasting, fasting. For me, I meditate on the way. Day and night. When I say day and night, I mean I turn it over and over again in my heart. And whatever I do, whatever I say, you will see it now. You will see it any moment from now. If I pray the way you are praying, I will not be able to do all this. The way you pray. You have a book that teaches you how to pray. You, you listed the name of your enemy. Sometimes you say, Law. This direction is law. This direction is Jesus Christ. This direction is Jehovah, Jehovah. This direction is bread, bread. After that, you not do like this. Mm, 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 mm. If I pray the way you pray, you will not be here today. The, what you have done to me in the past. Aye. (laughs) 
I, I, I learn how to talk even if I'm, if, even if I have pain, I have to laugh. Hey, you burn me, you rebook me, well done. You know, if I call people out now to start telling what they have done in the past to, to one TB Joshua, one TB Joshua, not this TB Joshua that's standing here. Ah. Can I tell you one story which I, I am keep keeping to myself? I will just tell you. Story are still coming. When this is then of building happened, it was on the news I saw it. Inside my company, it was television that told me building collapsed in the synagogue. This is to tell you the strategy and well done. I say well done, sir. See, I'm the one to tell the television station that something happened in my company. But suddenly, this time, it was on the news. It, tell, it, it, it did collapse in the synagogue. I said, which synagogue? Ah, which synagogue again? Before I stood up, I said, ah, where is the building? Before, can you imagine that? In your house, a pot in your house is broken, but you, it was a station, you now saw, the part of your house broken. Say, so which house? <laughs> to tell you that uh, before it, the whole thing happened, it has been prepared. And I run out of the office. Where? This? Ah, Apple. You find out? Eh? Ah, ah. Ah, Can say every, everywhere quiet. Don't forget your own truth. How many times you have burned me? You have burned me. You use your hand to, to lose me. Where are we going? So, yes. The Spirit of God will be released. You know, this is what you are waiting for. Will be released to the degree our heart acts upon the world. So that is why it's very important that your heart must act upon the word of God. Tell your neighbor, the Spirit of God will be released to the degree, to the measure, your heart, heart upon the Word of God. I mean, the Spirit of God will be released to the degrees, to the measure, we stand in reverence in honor of his word. Where is honor without your heart? Where is, your, where is honor without your heart? That is honor we are given today to, the, to, this, to, the, to God. You come to church, but your heart is not here. You watch it, you see many people are dancing. Because they see their colleague dancing. You know, it's a hobby, hobby, I mean, to dance. People are dancing, not that they dance with their heart. Tell your neighbor, where is honor without your heart? Where is reverend without your heart? Today, you see people with it, without their heart. That is why there's killing, destruction everywhere. Your son will wake up, your daughter will wake up, your children will wake up, your wife will wake up, your 
husband will wake up, good morning, sir, good morning, sir, without their hearts. That is why we can, after say, good morning, sir, at your back, anything can happen. The Spirit of God will be released to the degree our heart acts upon the word of God. But your heart is not honor God. You are honoring God, but you are not your heart. And Christianity lies. Tell your neighbor, without, without your heart, where is honor? Without your heart, where is respect? Without your heart, where is reverend? This is what is happening all over the world today. You talk of marriage, marriage without heart. That is why there's divorce, little thing. No, 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 no. I saw letter. No, 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 no. This is phone call. This is no, no, no. Flee, flee, excuse everywhere. Little divorce. Marry and remarry everywhere. You see, home, home, divorce, divorce, divorce. It has become a game. Because marriage without heart, love without heart. In my heart, in my heart. without heart is a marriage that anything can de 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 dissolve. Situation can separate, fight can separate, whatever can separate. But a marriage with heart, I love you with all my heart, the love is from heart. Only God can separate such marriage. Not even what can separate me from the love of Christ? Can hatred? Can fight? Can kill it? Can dead? What can separate you? That is hard for you. Only God can separate marriage of hearts. When this marriage of heart. I love you with all my heart. I'm not love you because of money. I'm not love you because of your education. I'm not love you because you are handsome, you are beautiful. I'm not love you because of whatever, but just heart. Only Jesus. Take you back to God again. The Spirit of God will be released to you To the degree, not a man, you can remain. As you might have, I'm talking, they are not allowing me to talk. Said, amen, amen, amen has become a culture. Which can amen be that? Do I pray for you? Say, I'm talking to you. Uh, look, don't 
let her take this thing to play, oh. Hmm. Hmm. On the last day. Baby, when you hear that, you'll be afraid. <laughs> I want to sing a song that will make you afraid now. You start to say, hey, 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 what is this? On the last day. You see, they refuse to sing along with me. Do you know there is another fellowship in heaven? So each one like that is not a play. It's a serious issue. The Spirit of God, which you need to be a Christian, you need to be born again. You need to be God's person. That Spirit will be released to the degree your heart at. You can call it immense or immersion. John. Will be released to the degree your heart act upon the word of God. So you say, I don't, I need the spirit of God. Yeah, but you need it, but it can only be released to the degree, to the major. You, your heart act, not you. Act means your spirit upon the word of God. Your consistency in prayer and faithfulness is the only way out. Your what? Constantly pray without ceasing. Constantly pray in your heart without what? Do you know what it means? That kind of prayer you 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 offer cannot save you. Oh, constantly pray with. In your heart. Are you praying now? Are you praying in your heart? Are you praying in your heart? Are you praying in your heart? What is the meaning of that? To pray in the spirit means to pray in harmony with the scripture. Let someone say, tell your neighbor. To pray in the spirit means to pray in harmony with the scripture. God will not allow you to pray for something.
But your heart, you cannot help yourself. This man is going too far. Okay, the key word is that which you are taking home. I want you to take home. Constantly pray. Constantly pray in your heart. So to get safe, to be God's person, to be born again, to be a Christian, constantly what? In your war? Without war? Without ceasing. So, like you are sitting, looking at me, being that business, without ceasing, in him, in spiritual song, making melodies in your heart to the Lord. Because your enemy loses no time to plotting against you. Your enemy loses no time to plotting against you. You should not lose no time to committing yourself to the Lord. You have such time to pray. Whereas enemy is always busy, it's always at work. Your enemy is always at work. That is how they keep getting you, getting you, getting you. That prayer cannot be effective, cannot work. Constantly pray in your heart. Are you praying now? Are you praying now? What kind of, it's not the kind of prayer you offer before. This prayer is, take more of me, give me more of you. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If it is thank you, Lord, you decided to say in your heart, it's okay. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My gracious Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That could continue your heart. That could continue your heart. Later, it will switch to praising and worship. Praising the Lord always. Praising the Lord always. Praising the Lord with all my heart. With all my heart. Praising the Lord with all my heart always. Can you see that? Look at your song. This is the song you are singing, but you are not following it. Praise the Lord. Can't you listen to that? 
Always. That means your heart should continue to praise God. Prayer. Attitude of prayer. Because a break in prayer will mean a break in faith. A break in faith is a break with God. Praise is the Lord. Always. Always. What you are singing? No, you're not praising God always. You allow your heart to be roaming, roaming about. You allow your heart to be roaming about. You have to praise. That is the way, only way you can be, be filled with the Spirit. Not this kind of prayer you. You offer, you be on your knee. That is okay. It is this meditation that will lead you to going on your knee. I mean, you begin to hear from God himself. Because your enemy loses no time to war. To war to plot against you. Loses no time to plot against you. And you should not lose no time committing yourself. So this is where we find ourselves today. This is where we find ourselves today. This is where we find ourselves today. We find ourselves in a very in a, in a very men's situation when it comes to things of the spirit. Bad situation. I repeat again. For me, I meditate on the weather girl. Day and night. And whatever I do, look at it, I'm going there now. I'm going there now. You will soon see the healing and deliverance. Not a man. It's not a man. Huh? I say that a man to be regulated. This a man is no longer regulated. If something is not regulated, it's messed up. Huh? You will not hear me begin to say, in the name of Jesus be healed. In the name of Jesus be healed. In the name of Jesus be healed. In the name of Jesus be delivered. You will not hear anything like that from me. Because I'm in the business of prayer 24 7. <laughs> to be in the business of prayer 24 7 is to release. When you are in the business of prayer, you can only, it is when you release, people hear you. When you're in business of prayer, 24 7, it is when you release, people will hear. Be he, that is what people will hear. But when you are not in the business of prayer, you, what you say, be he, be delivered, be he, be delivered, be he, be delivered. I command that Satan, Satan, go to the bush, go to the wilderness, die, 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 die. This on me. Anoints they are what? To the what? To the air. To flatten ourselves, to show I'm a pastor, I'm a, I, I'm a command, I have a where, I know the Bible. They say, ah, the book of Psalms says this. The book of Psalms says this. I command you to stand up. Hmm? I said, stand up, you sit down. The book of Isaiah. <laughs> stand up. When you are in the business of prayer, 
constant praying in your heart without ceasing, you only release be he. This is what people hear, and it will be he. That is this. So, are you ready now? Are you ready now? Be in the business of prayer. Sing this song again. Praise the Lord. Always. Praise the Lord. Always. Praise the Lord. With all my heart. Praise the Lord. With all my heart. Always. That is all. This is what I'm expecting in your heart now. In your heart. Constantly. Pressing. Are you, are you, da- are you singing that song? Are you singing that song? And uh, uh, when you continue singing this song in your heart, the Spirit of God himself will switch to prayer. What to say? He will himself switch. You are not in control of your blood. Are you in control of your blood? So you are not supposed to be in control of prayer. You are not in control of your blood. Your blood can cease. You are not in control. It's just running, 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 running. You feel it's running. In the same day, you are not supposed to be in control of prayer. The prayer is supposed to switch from praises to prayer. And when you want to release, you just say, be here in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of people. Hear this from you. Look at me. Do you see any people? Do you see any book? Do you see any laptop with me? I'm talking from the heart. Message from the heart. Not laptop. Not paper. Not anything. I'm not teaching. If I'm teaching, I will carry my laptop. If I'm teaching, I'll carry my boo. I'm telling you something from the heart. If I'm telling you about someone's experience, I will carry my paper. And it's not lecturing room. Ebola timber. <laughs> I'm speaking French. Mm. That's, that's Spanish. Mm. I will not repeat it again. The Spanish will understand, French will understand. We, we, sometimes the language meets. ready for this to be filled? You are ready to be filled? No matter the situation, like I have said, no matter how unsteady, you know, that is how I can describe the situation today. Because you don't know what you say, business is not going on, even the family too, that is in a mess. If you say family is okay, you will see that another area is mess. So unsteady, no matter how unsteady, your career appear to be. Your, your business appear to be. Go into business of presses God in your heart. By the time you continue the, the, the heart, the, the spirit will, will be the one to switch from pressing to prayer, to presses to prayer. But you are the one praying now. The Bible says we do not have to pray. The Spirit help us in our weaknesses. But in your case, it's not Spirit really helping you. You have prayer point. And you have the hour to pray. And if you don't have any situation, you don't pray. If something is smooth, going on well, you sit dancing today, by their step, you know those who are coming here for testimony. The step they are taking, you know, this one is here for testimony. 
Why someone will just be standing and say, you know that he's waiting for blessing or deliverance. It is our prayer that dictates our, the direction of our prayer. What dictates the direction of our prayer? Our situation. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor. Our situation dictates the direction of our prayer. Our condition dictates the direction of our prayer. If we are sick, we say, God, hear me. But if you are happy, we say, praise God. Tell your neighbor again, our situation dictates the direction of our prayer. If we are sick, we say, God, help me, hear me. But if everything is all right, we say, praise the Lord. Instead of Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Father to dictate the direction of our prayer, what to pray for, he helps us in our weakness, we don't know how to pray, but now our situation dictates the direction of our prayer. Look at Jesus, Jesus was there, he, 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 he. the dead man there was there, his friend. Instead of him to say, Lord, heal, Lord, raise, he said, Lord, I thank you. And the Jew and all the other were looking at him and saying, oh, wow, we are saying you should raise the dead. And you are saying, thank you. Thank you for killing this man or thank you for this man, for the, for the man to die. Or what are you saying? Tell your neighbor again, our situation dictates the direction of our prayer. When we are sick, we say, Lord, hear me. And if you are not here, we would never say thank you, Jesus. Until you are here. And when you are here, you say, hallelujah. So thank you very much. I want to leave you here. Already, already you have, uh, you have uh, tried to Stop my, my audio. Thank you, thank you. That is the area you can attack. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. So let me again, don't forget, for me, I meditate on the word day and night, and whatever I do, prosper. Viewers all over the world, take this, take this, take this. To meditate, you understand what I'm saying? To meditate on the way and turn it over and over again in our hearts. Like right now, I'm leaving you. Remain, continue to meditate. Constant prayer. Constant prayer in your heart without ceasing. Viewers all over the world, listen again, I want to leave you with this. No matter how unsteady your situation appears to be, meditate on the word of God. Turn it over and over. Again in your heart. And whatever you do will prosper. I leave you here. Thank you very much.
every noon, every night. Always praising the Lord with everything in me. Hey, praising the Lord with all my heart. Always lift your voice and say, Praising the Lord always. Hey, praising the Lord always. Praising the Lord. Open up your mouth and say with all my heart. Hey, praising. Worshiping the 